Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Alicia, and today I am bringing you my November Costco haul. I picked up a few things for Christmas, like as early Christmas gifts, um, but I am probably gonna be making another Costco run in a few weeks when it gets closer to Thanksgiving. Since there are some things I'd like to get from Costco, like the turkey and potatoes and whatnot since I'm hosting. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe right now so that you can also catch that other Costco haul that'll be coming up. But for now, let me show you what I got in today's haul. Starting off down here, I got a bunch of berries, so blueberries. I have some fresh blueberries for oatmeal and yogurt parfaits. I also picked up some frozen blueberries. These are gonna be going into my protein smoothies that I like making. I did pick up a rotisserie chicken tonight because as you guys probably know, when you do like any shopping, grocery shopping, you get exhausted and you're like, I don't even wanna make dinner tonight. So this is dinner tonight and anything left over I'm just gonna shred it and then freeze it. I picked up some grapes for my kids lunches and then for snacks I made the mistake of leaving one of these out. I think it was for my last Target haul actually which was a week ago Maybe a little longer than a week ago and the and the grapes are already gone So I had to replenish our grapes. I got a few frozen things back here I have some frozen shrimp I always like to have frozen shrimp in my freezer for quick weeknight meals and this time I decided to get I usually get salmon But this time I decided to get some frozen Pacific cod. I'm sure I can find some really good meals. I'll probably make like fish tacos or something with that. And then down here, I just have a huge, huge bag, five pound bag of mandarin oranges. Okay, so this right here is new to me. I don't think I've actually ever seen it at Costco. Maybe I have, I just haven't paid much attention to it. But it is mole sauce. So this is like a chocolate type of, I don't wanna say like enchilada chocolate sauce, but that's kind of almost similar to what it is, like a chili chocolate sauce that you put like on chicken. I thought this would be kind of fun to try. I've tried making my own mole sauce and it never turns out great. But uh, unless you have a recipe, definitely link it down below. Back here, I have some goldfish. There are three bags in this big box of goldfish, which is great. So I can put one in my pantry and then the other two bags will go up into my laundry room overflow area. I don't know why I've never seen kosher salt before. This is all I ever use and I usually get it at Winco and I, I think I pay about three to five dollars. This was under three bucks. So that is a steal. So if you are needing some kosher salt, like to do like a brine for your turkey or anything definitely get it at Costco right now it's a great price I picked up a two pack of Pam so I don't generally buy this I like to get the coconut spray but coconut spray when you bake it doesn't Re release like the baked goods as great as this stuff would. So this is purely just for baking. This is gonna last me a very long time. I have two packages of bagels. So you get to choose your two. Not, and so these are plain and then these are the everything, but I think you can also get a Parmesan bagel and then a cinnamon raisin bagel. These are actually gonna go straight into the freezer and then I'll just pull them out as needed for breakfast. I picked up some oatmeal. So I've really been into oatmeal lately. I have a video showing you how I made some pumpkin apple oats recently. I also thought this would be a great time to make my own granola. I usually buy granola um, at Costco or wherever I'm at, but I thought I would just make it this time since there's so much oatmeal. In my last haul, I got these guacamole cups. They're pretty decent size cups, and these are for good for snacks or good to put on your eggs, or if you don't have avocados, good to put on your toast in replacement of avocado. Um, but these make great snacks for my kids. I picked up some ham for wraps and sandwiches. I could not believe I am completely out of chicken breast. Like there is not a breast inside in my freezer. So I needed to stock up on chicken this month for either like chicken fettuccine or an instant pot, a chicken dish that is coming up in a future fall cook with me. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So, so good. So definitely subscribe if you guys wanna see that. I picked up some mushrooms. I do plan on making something with mushrooms. I don't know, chicken and mushroom, maybe chicken mushroom fettuccine. We'll see what's going on, but I always like to get mushrooms here is some sliced Tillamook cheese. This is just like the medium cheddar cheese. These are great for hamburgers because I did get some patties, but also wraps and sandwiches as well. Sticking with the cheese area, I have some string cheese. These are going to go into the after school snack drawer. I picked up this big old box of cream cheese. Now there's six blocks of cream cheese in here 
and this makes it actually a very, very good price instead of like going to Target or to Winco and buying like individual bricks of cream cheese. So this is definitely the way to go, especially because I'm gonna be make, baking a lot of stuff for Thanksgiving and dinners too. I like to throw this into meals. Behind the cream cheese, I have actually two packages the back there of bread. These go all into my freezer. This is the bread that I use for my kids' sandwiches. I use this for grilled cheese. I use this for basically everything, toast in the mornings, honey toast. I do have two packages of milk. So one package of milk comes with two gallons. So I always am stocking up on milk. We were drinking quite a bit. Last month I got this hummus and it was so yummy. So I decided to get it again because I do have some veggies that we can dip it. Oh, I forgot to get the carrots. Like I mentioned, I'm probably gonna be going back to Costco. I need to remember to get baby carrots. Butter, of course, is always in every Costco haul that I do because I love baking, I love to cook, and I go through butter very, very fast. Pick this up in anticipation of Thanksgiving. I think this will make it to Thanksgiving. I'm hoping, I could not find a like best buy date on here, but I love to make my own cranberry sauce for the turkey. I love cranberry sauce, oh my gosh. So I'm very excited about this. Ugh. I love Thanksgiving. I love the food. More for the sides, not for the turkey. How about you guys? Are you guys more sides or turkey? I did pick up some avocados. The price is still hanging on pretty good down there. It's pretty low for the, for a five, five count. I had the three pack of English cucumbers for my kids' lunches and also to dip with the hummus. I have two packages of this organic ground beef. So you get three packages for one. And each of these packages is 1.34 pounds. And this is actually the perfect size whenever I go to make us dinners. This is perfect for my family of five. I picked up some Brussels sprouts for dinners along with some asparagus for any dinners I make this week. I was very excited to see the eggnog in the fridge area. This eggnog will make a great late night beverage with a little bit of brandy in it. So, so yummy. I also got some Greek yogurt. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna try to make my own granola, so that'll be perfect with this yogurt. I needed some chips, so I got these Himalayan salt potato chips. These are the crinkle cut ones. These are so good. Generally, I like to catch them when they're on sale, but we actually have no chips. We just have tortilla chips left in our pantry, so I needed to get that. This was on sale. It is the Starbucks Organic Winter Blend. It is whole bean, and this was actually the first time ever that the worker actually asked me if I wanted to leave it out of my cart so I could grind it. Because I always forget that there's a grinder there. But I personally like to grind my own beans here at home. I like to grind them as I use the beans. Okay, I mentioned I picked up some patties. They are still selling the grass-fed beef patties at my local Costco. Hopefully they're selling them at yours too. There are 15 patties in, in here and they make great quick dinners. I was looking for the bags. I like to get the bag spinach because it's just easier to store like in my fridge versus like this actual package, but that's okay. That's all they had. Right here, I have some flour tortillas and in this pouch, there is actually two big packages of tortillas and I stick this whole thing in the freezer and then I would just pull out a package as needed and stick it in the fridge. I have a package of strawberries for my kids' lunches and also for yogurt parfaits or for our oatmeals. Back here, I have some peanut butter I could not believe I only had one thing of peanut butter left uh, last week. So I needed to restock on the peanut butter. I did get two bunches of bananas right here, a very green one, and then some that are yellowish green. So this should last us for a little bit. In preparation for Thanksgiving, I did decide to stock up on the wine so that I wouldn't have to go get it later. I have two bottles of butternut Chardonnay. I've never tried this Chardonnay before, so I think this will be nice to have with our meal, along with two reds. I have a blend and a cab. I personally am a cab person. I love drinking cabs. But I also decided to get a blend just to give the option. I mentioned that I did pick up a few things for Christmas. So I got my kids some, I should say two of the three kids some pajamas. I couldn't find my oldest any Christmas pajamas there. But generally what I like to do as a pre like Christmas gift is I like to give them some pajamas and a Christmas book to go with it. So it's something that they can wear all throughout the season. So it's something I'll probably give them 
probably Thanksgiving, the night after Thanksgiving, so that they're able to enjoy them longer. But um, I usually pair it with a book, so I got a few different Christmas books back here. Richard Scary, this one took me back. I used to watch Richard Scary back in the day, and I think you can still watch it on Amazon, but I got that. I also got How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and then I also got this Lego 12 Days of Christmas book. This one's definitely going to be for my younger son who is obsessed with Legos. And then these, hopefully my son does not watch this video, I got him, I'm at head, getting a head start on some of the Christmas um, wish lists. He wanted some of the Diary of a Wimpy Kids books, some of the newer ones, so I picked up two of them. And then I also got him some sweaters. They're Hurley sweaters, you guys. Look at how nice these are. Really, really nice and great prices too. So definitely check out the jacket and sweater section in your Costco for Christmas gifts because they are pretty good quality. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's November Costco haul. Like I mentioned, there should be another Costco haul coming out in a few weeks when I have to go back and get like the turkey and other essentials for Thanksgiving. So if you are not subscribed already, definitely subscribe on your way out. I would really appreciate your support. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.